you need to learn AWS right now. If you're in IT, you've got to learn the cloud. And AWS is the biggest player out there. But why? Well, why do you need to learn the cloud? We'll cover that. And also in this video, we're not going to waste time. You're going to get started with AWS today. We're going to get your account set up on AWS. It's free. And then I'll walk you through setting up a virtual machine in the cloud. Now, here's why you need to learn this right now. The cloud basically someone else's computer. And in this case, this computer belongs to Amazon. Amazon has a ton of computers, a ton of servers. And they said, hey, guys, if you want to use our stuff, we'll let you. I mean, you have to pay us for it. But hey, come use our stuff. And a ton of companies did that. And they're currently doing that. Instead of buying their own servers, which can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, even millions, they're basically renting Amazon's servers. Companies move their IT infrastructure to the cloud for a variety of reasons, cost being one of them, but it also gives them a ton of freedom. You see, Amazon has endless resources. If a company needs to expand rapidly and they don't have the cash to buy a ton of servers to grow, Amazon does. Plus they have a ton of cool features in the cloud that you would not have in your own data center more and more companies are moving their stuff to the cloud. And this is why they need you. They need skilled IT people, people who know AWS to help them move their stuff to the cloud. And once it's there, they need help managing it. This is why AWS, the cloud, is one of the hottest IT skills you can get right now. Don't take my word for it, check it out. A LinkedIn article, the top skills companies need most in 2020, what do they say? Number one is blockchain, but coming in at number two, cloud computing. An article from Business Insider, the top 20 tech skills that employers want. Let's see what they say. Coming in behind Python at number three, Linux at number four, JavaScript, and then number six, Amazon Web Services. And then Global Knowledge says the 10 most important IT skills for 2019. I know it's 2020, but this still applies. Coming in at the top of the list, cloud computing. Are you convinced? Well, maybe you're not. Check this out. According to the DICE Tech Salary Report, a cloud engineer on average makes 128,000 a year. That's a lot of money. So where should you start? How can you start learning? Get certified. There are two certifications I want you to consider. First is the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. This is a entry level cert if you're just fresh new to cloud. If you don't know anything about cloud or you're really, really new to IT, this will be great for you. Now, if you're already in IT and you've at least heard of the cloud, I would recommend the next level. It's a mouthful, the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. This certification will get your foot in the door as a cloud admin. In fact, my brother Cameron switched from being a network engineer to a cloud engineer by getting the certification. Now, if you wanna get that certification, I just released a course. I teamed up with Anthony Sequera and David Bombold. We actually just launched the course today, so if you wanna check it out, I got a link below. And right now it's only $10 for a limited time. So get it while you can. Now, I don't know about you, but when I first start learning something, I just want to get my hands dirty. I just want to do it. Well, that's what we're doing right now. We're going to set up an AWS account on their free tier. And then we're going to walk through setting up a virtual machine in the cloud. Let's do it real quick. Go ahead and fire up that web browser and we'll navigate to aws.amazon.com. Start building on AWS today. Okay, I'll do that. At the top right, Click on create an AWS account. Again, it's free, don't worry about it. And check this out, can't beat this, 12 months of free tier access. Just a ton of cloud goodness you can start working with right now for a year, <laughs> so let's do it. Put your stuff in there and click continue. I love that they have a personal option because they know people like us will be trying this stuff out. So hit personal or select personal and then click create account and continue. Credit card, what? Don't be scared off by this. They're not gonna charge you, not unless you want them to. This is just in case you go crazy. As long as you stay within the free tier, you'll be fine. They'll ask for your phone number so you can verify that you're a person with a phone number. And once you've verified you're a person, click continue. Support plan, you want free, select free. And from here, we're gonna click sign into the console right here at the top right. You are now signing into the cloud, yes. When you sign in, select root user, you are the root user, and put in your email address you used to sign up with, and your password. And we're in, okay, let's do this. This won't take long, I'm telling you, and it's really cool. We're gonna scroll down until we see launch a virtual machine with EC2, select that. Now, as far as what type of virtual machine, you have options. As you scroll through this, you can do Amazon Linux, Red Hat, SUSE or SUSE, uh, Ubuntu. And when you're focused on free, look for this, free tier eligible. You know you're safe if you select that image. Now, the one I wanna use is the Amazon Linux version. So I'll scroll back up to the top here and select this first guy. And here we have different sizes. If you scroll down, what we want is already selected. The T2.micro free tier eligible, perfect. But I want you to notice something. As we scroll down, there's a lot of different sizes. Like, look at this big boy, the T2.2x at large. You've got eight virtual CPUs, 32 gigs of RAM. That's the beauty of the cloud. We can go huge to accommodate what you want or what you need. 
But anyways, we want the t2.micro already selected. We'll click review and launch. It's gonna give you a quick summary of what you did and we'll go ahead and click launch because we're moving fast. Now this part's important. If you wanna connect to your virtual machine or your Amazon Linux box from your own computer, you'll need to set up a private public key pair. It's how you authenticate where you normally use a username and password. We're gonna use a private key public key pair to authenticate you. Now if we try to choose an existing key pair, we'll select this. We don't have one. No big deal. We can create one right now real quick. So click create a new key pair. I'll name mine the key master and I'll download the key pair. It's gonna download the private key and you wanna save that somewhere safe. Because again, that's what you'll use to authenticate when you connect to this device or this virtual machine. And then that's it. As we scroll down, we'll click launch instances and boom. It's going, it's doing it. And yeah, that was it. If we select this link right here, this random string of letters and numbers, it'll take us to our EC2 instances and it shows us, hey, it's still building. So we're gonna wait here for a moment and it's done. Okay, here we go. So how do we connect to it? All we have to do is right click it. So right click your little instance here and click connect. Easy enough, right? We have three options, but because we're moving fast, we're gonna focus on the third option here, connect via our browser. The username will default to what it was set up with. Perfect. And we'll click connect. And that was it. Check this out. I'm in there. I'm in the cloud. And that was it. If you want to close this out, you can actually delete this virtual machine. Pretty easy. Just right click this. Go to instant state. You can stop it, reboot it, or just terminate it. And it just makes it go away. So terminate. Sorry for that. <laughs> yeah, I want to terminate it. Yes, go ahead. That simple. You just set up a cloud account in AWS. That's amazing. And not only that, but you set up a virtual machine in the cloud. Now there's a lot more you can do and you will find that out, but this is step one, getting you started. You may have noticed that I went quick. I didn't show you any of the settings or any of the cool things and knobs you could turn, but that's the fun part. And as you go deeper into AWS, you will learn that stuff. So let me know below if you were able to do this, if you set up an AWS account and you launched your virtual machine. And if you wanna keep going down this path, if you wanna dig deep and learn more and become AWS certified, check out our course below. We take you deeper. Well guys, you need to learn the cloud. It could be AWS, it could be Azure, it could be Google Cloud, it should be all three. Once you learn one cloud, it's pretty easy to pick up the others. But the point is, just start learning this stuff because it's the future. You wanna future-proof yourself. Well anyways, that's all I got. If you like this video, like it. It helps with the algorithm. And if you haven't already subscribed, then what are you doing? Subscribe. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. I'll catch you guys later.